Okay, let's uh, try this again. My program that I stream from decided to disconnect and reconnect. So uh, that's not gonna work. So <laughs> we're here to talk about the January comic book previews. And I wanna do this because I want, I just, I want to try to get people actually talking about the comic books that are going to be coming out and having a conversation and, and, you know, maybe you don't get a chance to look through the previews and you just kind of rely on what your shop brings in. I don't know, but I think it's fun to have conversations, you know, talk about comics that are ongoing or new comics and whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm Kelso with Dork4 and let's, uh, yeah, let's talk about this stuff. All right. Looks like. My stuff actually wants to work now. <laughs> so I think we're good. All right, so uh, we got American Gods premiered here, like promoted, all right? So let's check that out. Looks very cool. It's a Neil Gaiman. He does, uh, you know, uh, Sandman and all that. So I have no idea what it's about. It's apparently adapted from a novel and soon to be television show on the stars. So Neil Gaiman getting into the business. All right, so I'm gonna kind of skip through the front. Uh, free comic book day, May 6th. This looks like it's promoting, very cool. Gonna be any, let's see, some sweet stuff. Anything I really know. A lot of it's things I, uh... oh, there we go, I hate image. It's a play on the uh, I Hate Fairyland. Oh man, she's gonna be taking out characters from um, all of the image stuff like Walking Dead, Spawn, Descender, Black Science, Southern Bastards. Oh man, oh that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have to definitely get that. Okay, so I Hate Image. So Gertrude, if you've read I Hate Fairyland, she's gonna go on a uh, apparently a rampage through image comics that's gonna be awesome okay a bunch of top secret stuff we got looks like that's what i would be interested in all right so we're starting with uh dark horse uh, as per usual okay so let's check that out all right. So first up is American Gods. It's from Dark Horse. Okay, so we have American Gods, Neil Gaiman. Uh, story. Someone was in jail. His wife is dead. And he meets the mysterious Mr. Wednesday, who employs him to serve as bodyguard. And he gets pulled into the supernatural world. So... Totally my thing right here, uh, that's for sure. So gonna be getting American Gods. All right, let's see. Oh, my handy dandy book for my wonderful people at my comic book store. Let's see, page 56. We got American Gods. I wonder if I can get a variant. I don't know if they'll get any variants, we'll see. They'll usually let me look through them if they get them. All right, now we have a bunch of previews for it. It looks so weird. I've seen this picture before. I think I saw it on Twitter, but the it's like, oh, I don't know. It's creepy, but I'm really excited about it. I like the creepy stuff. All right, new Hellboy. Uh, don't know about that. New Harrow County. Okay, so if I've uh, if you watch my other uh, videos on YouTube, uh, you'll see that I love 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 Harrow County because it's a wonderful like they consider it a horror story, and I guess it is, but it's really well done. And so you can go you can get that trade paper five there, and they they may offer the the past ones. I don't know. I don't see that. So Harrow County continuing with number twenty one. I don't get much from Dark Horse, but the stuff I get, I do love. Oh, yes. Okay, so um, I did read this on the cover that Rebels is back. And I have a history degree. 
I teach history. And so I loved Rebels. It was a comic book about like the Civil War and stuff. And so this is now, or not the Civil War, sorry, uh, the War of Independence. And so now it's like after that. So it's coming back. It's number one of eight Rebels, these free and independent states. And I could not be more excited about this one amazing art amazing story um it kept me hooked the whole way through and i have honestly missed this comic book coming out so good a little mini series this is brian wood and now he is yeah it's after the war of independence so that's really exciting that that's coming back out all right so back to my handy dandy book getting rebels for sure All right, hello, uh, viewer. Let's see, all right, this is their other, it's not the gem of the month, but it was promoted. It's called The Once and Future Queen. It's out with the old myths and in with the new as a 19 year old chess prodigy pulls Excalibur from the stone and becomes queen. Now magic, romance, fae, Merlin and more await her. Legend of King Arthur's Reimagined for Today. Okay. Now, this doesn't really look like my style, but I kind of want to check it out. And I don't even know why. Maybe because it's just like girls being awesome or something. Man. I'm not sure about this one. Maybe I'll go back to it. I'm going to think about that one. The Once and Future Queen. But it's oh, number one of five, so that'd be a really easy uh, trade paper to pick up. Let's see. Uh, Ether. Okay, that's coming out with number five of five. Okay, so this is in. When are these coming out? March. Cool. Uh, some other stuff. Conan and Tarzan and stuff. All right. Uh, DC, sorry for all of you DC people, but I just go ahead and go to the end to Vertigo. Uh, sometimes I will flip through here and just look at the covers because I think some of the covers look really, really neat. But I really don't order any of the DC stuff. Um, I'll check the wall on Wednesdays and see what came out and maybe there's something that interests me or... Uh, the people in my shop are like, no, you got to read this series. You got to pick it up. Then I will, but not so interested. Okay, but I do go to Vertigo, which is like the indie offshoot from DC, like them trying to be cool. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. Oh, a Justin Jordan. I'm pretty sure I could stop there and go ahead and mark it because if I didn't, my husband would kill me. He loves Justin Jordan. We both do. So let's see. It's called Savage Things, number one. All right, we'll check this out. There's the, there's the cover. Oh, I keep putting down my window where I can see my myself, so I can see that this work is working. Okay, so Savage Things looks like some some fighting type deal going on. Got a gun. Got a alleyway. Let's see, secret government organization kidnap children and train them to be chaos agents who went on to form an unrest and execute enemies of the state all around the world. Too bad it didn't work. Now a rogue band of monsters is cutting a swath of terror across the United States. That sounds awesome. Eight issue mini series. <laughs> Features the action of Jason Bourne movies with a gruesome horror of classic uh, Grindhouse. Okay, perfect. 152 page for that. Go ahead and mark that. Savage things. Looks awesome. I have not really been getting anything from Vertigo, I realize. Like at all. Mm, nope. Nope. Got some statues. Not a statue person myself. I like the Funko Pop. All right, now we're on to IDW. Let's see. 
<laughs> My Little Pony. I was like looking at those covers. They look funny. Uh, hmm. Really? Nothing so far? Hmm. A lot of Ninja Turtles is normal. Maybe I'm really not getting anything from IDW right now. Hmm. Another ROMs coming out. Okay, I get that. Okay, well that was a very uneventful IDW section. Uh, well. Nope, nope. Nope. Still nothing. Helena Crash number one. What's this? Tink Girl. Doesn't really look like my style. Wait a second. This is a future where coffee is illegal. And Helena is a courier delivering black market goods to anyone who can afford her services. Okay, maybe I do need to check this out. I don't know what the art is like. See where from her. More incentive information? Let's see. Okay, I kind of want to Google this here real fast. Okay. Helena Crush. I want to see the art. I'm kind of an art person. Like, the story could sound really good. And if I can't see the art, I really don't know if I want it. Because one of my favorite parts of comic books is the visual aspect of it. Like, it could be a pretty bad story and have really good art, and I think I'd still be okay with that. Um, let's just check Google Images and see if it can't get me anything. Ugh. I have no idea. They're not making this easy. Here we go. Here's a picture. Hello. Of course it won't load. Why would it? Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Aha. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can get down with the art. I just don't think I can. I can't even like pull it up to show you because when I click on the, the site, it goes down. Wish I could find something better. That's another one where I think if I saw it in a trade paper, I might grab. So I'm going to keep that on my radar. Uh, but no, it looks, I don't know, the art looks really weird. But a future without coffee would be like my worst nightmare. So I'm sure that would be interesting. <laughs> Some random like Shakespeare comics. Oh yeah, IDW is Electric Sublime. Fun. Oh, this is the trade paper. Lame. Oh, Daveocracy. If you did not read Dave, uh, which it looks like this, it's spelled with the four. Um, it's amazing. It's these, the robots rule the world and humans like come back and realize that the world's being run by robots. It's really weird, but Dave is hysterical and all of the, like there's not actually any cuss words in it, but you can kind of figure out what they're saying. Like it seems like it's an allusion to the words and it's just done really well it's really funny like they use the letters instead of or the numbers instead of letters and whatnot so that's really cool all right we have animal noir which i talked about uh last video so the number two is coming out looks like that's going to be a slow moving one all right looks like fine okay i yeah now we're done with IDW. Now image does this like hashtag your image thing and they even have like their own fancy book like to look through this stuff. So I'm just gonna I wonder if they'll show these again. Nope. Okay, so these are the gems. Ooh, Jeff Lee Meyer. How where do I know him from? Jeff Lee Meyer. Oh Descender. Ha huh? duh. Okay. Um let's see. So this is people I don't know. Layla Del Duca, Del Duca and Kit Seaton. 
This is one of their gems. It's called Afar OGN. Okay, post-industrial desert. You can, this girl can astral project to other planets while she sleeps. What? They're salt shepherds. Whoa. That looks really weird. And I kind of wish I had the, the book now so I could, like the fancy image book, so I could actually see some artwork here since they don't want to do that. Uh... Yeah, I'm guessing I would have needed the fancy book. Okay, one second, okay, we're gonna look that one up. Afar OGN, Afar OGN comic book. Hmm. No, that's not what I meant. Don't auto correct me. <laughs> um, the cover is really cool. It's really colorful. And I kind of like the star. Oh, yeah, that looks interesting. Once again, just not my art style. Let's see if I can't show you guys. Let me pull this over. Don't do that. Let's see. Yeah, you should be able to see that there. All right, so that is the, the art. If you can kind of tell it just yeah I mean that's cool there's like talking animals and stuff or at least it looks like it but mm, see the cover is that and then it goes into art that doesn't look as colorful like when I see a cover like this like I expect the colors to kind of follow that but that's another one I think I'll I'll wait on I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that so the other one is Royal City, and this is Jeff Meyer who does Descender, which I've talked a bunch about. This, this is Royal City, and Royal City charts the lives, loves, and losses of a troubled family and a vanishing town. Interesting. Being father of Marcel, who drowned down. Oh, wow. Okay, so this just looks very... Kind of depressing. This is Jeff Meyer though. So you know what? Because I love his other stuff, I got to check it out. I'm going to, I got to check it out. So I'm going to grab Royal City. Okay. Check that out. That's Royal City. We're on page uh, 207. So Royal City. Let's check out some art for that too, though. Mm, nope, not what I want to do. There we go. Royal City comic. Of course, image isn't going to give me something. Why would they? Man, these are hard to find. They're doing a good job um, keeping this stuff locked down let's just check google images nothing really nothing wow well maybe this well this could possibly be from it there we go let's check that out let's see so this is the one i could find all right, so that looks, I like that. That looks cool. I can get down with that. All right, Royal City it is. What was that again? Page 207. I love how they do these by pages. They really do make this like as painless as possible to fill this out. <laughs> it's not terrible. Not as terrible as it could be anyways. All right. Image takes a while. I get a lot of stuff from image. Okay. Extremity. Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer. No idea. This looks like 
Mad Max. The art looks fantastic though. Colorful like I like it, a little brutal, don't know. Let's see, let's check this out. So this is extremity or extremity. All right, that looks pretty cool. I don't really know what to think about. It's, it's monsters and man and machine fighting is what they describe it as. And then that's like their preview in the book. I don't know. Some of these are really not like, they're not super grabbing my attention, but they are flying robots and monsters and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, we'll check it out. We will give it a shot. Now, I did see the next page, and this is for sure new story arc of Rat Queens. Rat Queens is amazing. And I usually just get the trade papers, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to wait again because they're really good. called Cat Kings and Other Garys. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta get it. I've only been getting the trade papers, but you know what? I don't think I can wait to read the story for however many months I know that it's gonna be coming out. I won't be able to help myself. Okay. Underwinter, number one, from Ray Fox, who did Intersect, which is by far the most out there comic book I think I've ever read. And Shipwreck, which I'm reading now, is coming to a close second tie with that. So, I mean, I, th I feel like I have to try it because it's just... It's like all pastels and sometimes you don't really know what's going on and the art is just crazy. This looks exactly like Intersect did. Okay. Hmm. So let's see, what is it about? It's a horror series. A beautifully painted tale of music and cruelty in the modern age. Sure. Seems right up my alley. Underwinter. Interesting. Ray Fox, though. I mean, like, he'll make you think. It gets your, it definitely gets your brain going. Oh, this is a top cow. This is offered again. Okay, wait. Magdalena. Eh, it doesn't look really. Think tank. Copperhead number 11. Oh, Wow. I feel like I haven't read that in a really long time. Okay. New story arc. Copperhead. Uh, it's like a woman. She's a, like a sheriff. Yeah, she's a sheriff. And she lives out on this like other planet. So it's kind of sci-fi-y. Uh, Deadly Class, number 27. Great looking cover. <laughs> head lopper oh my gosh this is offered again volume trade paper one okay if you want like a really awesome story about this guy who just like fights all these crazy magical creatures and is like trying to save kingdoms and stuff um definitely check out head lopper and then you can get that trade paper reordered man one of the funny oh man it's just so funny it's it, and i don't think it's supposed to be funny but I think it is. <laughs> Another I Hate Fairyland. Very cool. Super excited. Injection. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of really good stuff coming out. And this isn't until March. Oh, I can't wait that long. Like all my favorites are starting to come back around again. All my artists apparently took their holidays off, which is okay. Same thing, low, number 16. Awesome. Okay. Mirror? I wonder if I get that. Sometimes I can't remember. Ooh, Seven to Eternity Giant Sized Artists Proof Edition. Nah, I have the number one. Beauty, Birthright. Oh man, March is going to be amazing. 
Curse words, descender, drifter, east to west, God country, the few, Hadrian's wall. Killer be killed, manifest destiny, mayday, moonshine, nail biter. Oh, now here's motor crash and who was talking? Uh, seek, was it Seeking Near Men Comics or maybe Rob uh, wants me to read it. Let's see. So I hadn't actually read this. So, okay. So they're like badass chick racers. Totally looks like my style. I'll see. So this is number four, which I'm assuming that means a trade paper will come out. I'll see it. I'm, I highly doubt my, my LGS has a, has any copies, but I'll check. Man, no mercy, old guard, outcast, paper girls, postal reborn, six of six. That's depressing. So that's already ending in March. So sad. I get way too much from image. Southern bastards, spread, stray bullets. They're not like us. Oh, and here's violent love too, which Frank Barbie and Victor Santos. Another one that someone wants me to read. I gotta check that out. Throwaways, Walking Dead, Wicked and Divine. What the heck? Way too much in March. Let's see. There's some good trade papers coming out too. I didn't realize how far uh, some of the ones that I'm currently reading are going. All right, so that was Image. That is not that much. So I I'm going to check out Royal City, Extremity, Rat Queens, and Underwinter. And then I have a gazillion of the ones that I, uh, that I get right now. So let's see. Moving on. Next publisher. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're on to the like featured. Oh, is this featured? Featured. We're going to go back into it. Okay, sometimes these confuse me, like the green pages. Um, Hillbilly Volume 1 Trade Paperback. I've talked about Hillbilly a bunch. So if you're interested in checking out Hillbilly, who's like this guy who fights supernatural forces uh, from Albatross, that's on page 263. And then Animosity, which I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing about. Uh, the number one trade paper is also coming out in the, sorry. Oh those itches um to do, do more trade papers Ooh, james bond black box number one with this dynamite okay okay so these are all that was like a preview of the previews i hate that it's, it confuses me action lab i've never gotten anything from action lab like i kind of check it out but okay here's the aftershock pages Rough Riders, Riders on the Storm, number two. I'm definitely, I ordered that last one. Blood Blister, Shipwreck. Rough Riders Nation, number one. Well, what's this? Um, Adam Glass, executive producer of Supernatural. I love Supernatural. Okay, we're going to do Rough Riders Nation number one. So I've been reading Rough Riders, and I actually got the trade paper of the original one, and I have the second one. And I'm going to check out this this one as well. This is on page 279, because I love Supernatural. And if he's in on that, then I will probably like this. Dang it, what page did I say? 279. Hmm. Oh, Mark. There it is. Rough Riders Nation number one. Very cool. Let's see. Hillbilly number 10 is coming out. And then that first trade paperback is coming out. So if you're interested in that, I've talked about it a bunch of my old videos. If you want to go see the artwork and hear about the story, American mythology. Let's see. Nothing there. I don't know what these are. Flipping through some stuff. Okay, Avatar, Providence number 12. Something I totally need to catch up on. I really do. 
Uber Invasion number four. I've been ordering that. That was all for Avatar. Okay, that was quick. Black Mask. I'm so proud of them. They finally have like their own legit section. They're not just like shoved in on the pages with all the other little indie comic producers. So that is super awesome. Good for them. Uh, last month, Previews I ordered Quantum Teams or Go, so that'll be coming out. Let's see, there's a number, is there another, a new number one? Okay, Space Riders Galaxy of Brutality. Ooh, mature, that's funny, it says mature AF. If you don't know what that means, then you've been hiding under a rock. <laughs> An ancient evil is gathering powers throughout the cosmos, and it falls upon the legendary Space Riders to kick its ass. Having disbanded, they reunite. The cult comic that electrified comic readers in the brain returns. Oh, cool. So this is, when did this come out? That's fun. That looks really cool. Hold on, now I gotta look it up. I wanna see, what did I miss? Let's see, Space Writers comic. Space Writers Volume 1. Oh, cool. Okay, so I guess this was last year, and I can get the trade paper for, I don't know how much. Let me check. What's my trade paper say? I always forget. Comic trade. Trade paperback comics. There's this one really good website I use. If you guys have never, in stock trades. There we go. In stock trades. Great way to get trades. If you want to catch up on stuff that's coming out. Let's see. Oh, of course, I type in Space Rider and it gives me Ghost Rider. Not actually what I'm looking for, but thanks. So they didn't even have it on here. So that's. Looks like I'd probably have to get it on eBay. Maybe Amazon, but they're used. 26 bucks though. But I'm guessing I'm, hopefully I don't need to know the story. Uh, like before I read this one, maybe Black, Black Mask will have it, but I'm going to check it out. It looks awesome. And if it says mature, I will most likely enjoy it. Page 306. There we go. Oh, cool. You can't get the trade paper. I'm going to go ahead and order that. Space Riders Trade Paper Volume 1. Well, that just solved all my issues. Thank you, Black Mask. And the art looks really cool on that. So if you didn't get to uh, get to see that. Very colorful and fun. Looks weird. The weirder it looks, usually the more interested I am. Okay, so that was Black Mask. All right, on the Boom. I love Boom. They also come out with great stuff. This is a Matt Kent. Has a huge, it's called Grass Kings. Has a huge article about it. Well... Matt Kent and Tyler Jenkins look very excited about this. So I feel like I kind of want to just support them. So a rural mystery series chronicling the tragic lives of the Grass Kings. And their trailer park kingdom. A fiefdom of the hopeless and lost of the desperate poor seeking a promised land. That looks very interesting. Uh, it looks like the preview of the art is something I'm interested in. Sweet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Grass Kings. Going to check that one out. All right, let's see what else Boom has to offer this month. <laughs> Power Rangers, those seem to be... Power Rangers is super popular again. Let's see a bunch of good trade papers. That I need to go back and make sure I'm getting. Okay, well, that was it for Boom. Nothing super crazy. Just the one. 
uh, boundless. I don't really read these like scantily clad women in their thongs and bras and out all over the place. Not really my thing. So <laughs> all of those I just kind of pass up. See all these other little. I always look in these sections, which I don't know if some of you may just skip right through these where they have all these little individual uh, publishers, but I make sure to look through them and see if anything catches my eye. And this is like the epitome of reading a book by its cover. It's, it's kind of got to catch my eye or I'll look at the, I'll read the writer and see if there's something interesting. Another, a new uh, James Bond suite. Okay, so now we've, I think this is going to be like what, like the fifth story arc of James Bond already since it's came out. So this is James Bond Black Box. That's page 341. So another James Bond. Oh man, there's like a ton of covers. I hope I get to choose a cool one. All right, so a new story arc. Looks awesome. They've been really good so far. Uh, Eidolon's going to keep coming out. Now, this one is writers I don't know, and artists I don't know, though. And Warren Ellis has been doing the others, which is why I got on board. So hopefully he continues them really well. Like uh, Felix Leiter came out the first one. Uh, that, that was good. And Hammerhead. So... They've been good. They've been putting really great people on those books. <laughs> Vampirilla. That always makes me laugh. Army of Darkness. Xena. We get that. Hmm. Nothing there. Devil's Do. What do you got for me, Devil's Do? Anything fun? I love Devil's Do comics. That Lord of Gore. Mm, nothing. Mm, public relations trade paper. Interesting. All right, still looking at these indie publishers. Not seeing much. These are collectibles company. Oh, you can get like stuff that's signed and different covers and whatnot. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Nope. Thought I saw something cool. Nope. Not seeing much. This is like the Asian influence kind of comic books. Here's one from Oni that actually maybe doesn't look terrible. It is mature. It's a, a Mars story though. Yeah. Oh, maybe a dark sci-fi comedy perfect for fans of Archer. Um, well, maybe. Okay, that does look pretty cool. I don't even know if I have anything, if I've ever gotten anything from Oni. I have to look at my list. Hmm. Oh, wrong thing. Thing. Let's see. I honestly don't think I've ever ordered anything from Oni. Oh, maybe I have. Oni. Oh, The Damned. Looks like that's actually coming out next month. So Oni has been catching my attention lately. All right. I can, I can work with that. We're going to check out Redline. A dark sci-fi comedy. I can dig it. Four hundred and 
two. Let's see if I can't get the alternate cover. I like it more. The other one has a guy like throwing up on it. Not my style. <sighs> Barbie comics. That's adorable. Up in there. Here's Titan. They do all the TV show stuff, which is cool. Maybe it gets kids reading. They're like, oh, hey, I watched this TV show. Now I can read. And game ones, Assassin's Creed. Because seriously, kids need to read more. It's really sad how much kids, like, hate reading. It's really sad. Oops. Clicking buttons. Too many buttons. There we go. Haha, <laughs> why did I scare you? Someone just said, oh my, you scared me. All right, let's see. Oh, Norman. That's what I get from Titan. That's right. Norman the first slash. The cover looks awesome. I think that's the only thing I get. Mm -hmm. Weird. Sometimes I see stuff. Oh, my voice is loud. Oh, that's funny. Um, that He-Man died? No. Oh, is that Thundercats crossover? Oh, wow, that's crazy. I'm, like, not super into the DC and Marvel stuff. Uh, I don't know a ton about it. I pretty much just stick with the indie uh, small production stuff. But I do know who He-Man is, and that's crazy. They always come back. It's like Deadpool. He's died like a gazillion times. And that is the one that I do follow, is Deadpool. And it's like, oh, the world exploded. Nope, never mind. We're all back. <laughs> all right. Bloodshot. The future of Bloodshot starts here. Interesting. So this is like a new... Oh, wait, this is Valiant. Okay, oh, Bloodshot. So what is Bloodshot? Okay. So this is like an older one. Oh, that looks cool. It just caught my attention. It was like right in my face. Good job there. You love T Man. Oh, no, seriously. Yeah. They do, I guess, kill other superheroes. But hey, you know what? They can't always can't always survive. It's not I don't know, I guess they have to make it realistic, which I don't know. You they're already like doing superheroes and stuff, but gotta shock people to keep them watching. Okay, so I skip over all the Asian manga and all that. This is Zenoscope. Once again, it's those scantily clad women with their, you know, everything hanging out ones. I don't really look at those. I mean, they're well, the, the covers are great, so I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did have a good run, didn't he? <laughs> That's good. All right. We're almost to the end, man. Let's see. This is like how the coloring books, movie, TV. This is all media. Ooh, any cool t-shirts? I was like looking at those. Oh, there's a really cool Star Wars scarf. That looks pretty sweet. I wish it was cold. It's like 80 degrees here today. I don't need scarves. Hmm. Actually, a bunch of interesting things that I don't know on all these t-shirts. Oh, are those socks? Okay, so I love socks. And check out this 
freaking awesome Deadpool outfit. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is awesome. The dress and the tights and the socks. Oh man. That is really cool. And then there's Spider Gwen tights too. Wait, are they tights or are they socks? They're tights. But they look so cool. Wonder if I could get away wearing those. Twerk. I am a new streamer. What do you do, th <laughs> Thunder and Pants? Let's see. Mm. Not super impressed with the choices of clothes. Except for those tights, those are really cool. Don't know if I'd actually ever wear them though. That's the problem. Oh wow, here's the pictures of the Stranger Things pops. I know people are super excited about those. <laughs> hey, it's Saturday. Do what you want, man. It's Saturday saying um, he's been drinking. So don't judge Twitch people by me. Oh yeah, no. I, uh, I usually have gamers and so I do the comic book stuff too. All right, now I'm on the toys and the fun things. Now, at least all the people, um, my YouTube followers, I don't really see you guys ever talking about statues. Like, it doesn't really seem like a big statue community, or maybe you guys just don't show them. I don't know. It'd be cool to, like, see some of these things, because you can't really tell from the, the book if they're cool or not. More pops. Gotta love them. These are kind of old. They have the League of Legends ones in here. Oh, the Resident Evil one. So awesome. Looks like they're reprinting a bunch. Oh, the Sweet Tooth Twisted Metal one is awesome. Man, I really did not get that much like new comic books. Oh, well, they will all be amazing, and it'll be great. Okay, drones. Now we're in, like, I'm in the board games and the Star Wars stuff. I skip all the... And nothing to hate against, like, all the Asian stuff and, like, the manga and whatnot. It's just not my thing at all. It just doesn't grab my attention. I don't understand it, I guess. But some people also don't understand my, you know, comic book choices and whatnot, so. To each his own. Hmm. Nothing really cool there. Some banks and some journals and patches and buttons and stuff. Huh, Spider-Man shoots in ladders. Now that is cool. I could definitely get down with that. Okay. Well, that's the end. Let's see. Flip this. Usually there's a preview of Valiant Publisher. Okay. Well, we got to see some really awesome, fun uh, new comic books that are becoming be going to be coming out. And uh, a lot of the stuff I talk about in my YouTube videos a lot of those are coming out in trade paper this month so if you were interested in that i'd definitely uh take a look at those options in case you wanted to get any and uh you know all that fun stuff so thank you guys so much for joining me i'm gonna say goodbye i am actually tell this guy thanks for joining the channel had a little conversation. Saying uh, good night. All right, cool. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you liked going through the previews and I hope that you all uh, get all the awesome books that you want. And I will be back again next month, same time, uh, second Saturday of the month at 6 central. So y'all have a wonderful night. Be safe out there. 
Uh, it is Saturday, and enjoy, hopefully, your three-day weekend. I know I have a three-day weekend. Thank you, Martin Luther King Jr., for that. And, uh, yeah, y'all have a great